Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the New Jersey Association for College Admission Counseling's Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Questions for specific institutions or broad ones intended for all of our presenters are certainly welcome. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions that's happening this evening as part of the New Jersey Virtual College Fair. So be sure to sign up for additional ones on the same website where you signed up for this one. And this presentation and all others are being recorded and will be available with in about a week's time at strivescan.com backslash New Jersey. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters and we'll get started this evening with Ithaca College. Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Jenny Henyon and I'm here to share a little bit about what Ithaca College has to offer. So first of all, where is Ithaca College? We are located in the Finger Lakes region of central New York. By car, it'll take you anywhere between three and five hours to get here, depending on where you are in New Jersey. Ithaca College is a medium-sized liberal arts college with about 6,000 undergraduate students, and our focus is on our undergraduate student. So we attract students from across the country and across the globe, and that's because we have the variety of academic offerings and experiences that you'd find at bigger institutions, but also the intimacy of a smaller institution. So this means that you can study and experience almost anything you're interested in, and you get to do so with small class sizes, low student to faculty ratio, and without competition for access to your professors, materials, or hands-on learning opportunities. Ithaca College is comprised of five schools, music, business, communications, health sciences and human performance, and finally humanities and sciences. Among these five schools, we offer nearly 100 majors and over 70 minors to choose from. Because we know that our students come to us with a wide variety of interests, most academic programs allow enough flexibility for our students to combine their academic interests based on their passions and career goals. So this might mean double majoring, taking on a minor, or even a double minor, and all of these combinations can be done within one school or across different schools. We also know that not all incoming students know what major is right for them, and that's totally okay. So if that sounds like you, you can check out our exploratory program, which allows students to take two full years to explore their interests before selecting a major. You'll have faculty and peer advisors to make sure that all the classes you take during that time will go toward your degree progression so that you can graduate on time. And when you do decide on a major, it's an informed decision based on your experience. About 25% of our incoming class enters as exploratory students, so you'll definitely be in good company if this sounds good to you. Regardless of your major at IC, we know that students learn best through hands-on, real-world learning experiences from day one. So at IC, you'll have those opportunities in all academic programs from the very start. Whether that means working in our clinics and labs, in our television and radio studios, performing on stage, doing analysis in our real-time trading room, or even working on set design and production for theatrical through performances, you'll be able to use these experiences to customize and enhance your skills throughout your undergraduate education. We also encourage students to get real world experience through study abroad and internships. So in addition to supporting your interests in studying across the world, we also have satellite Ithaca College campuses in New York City, Los Angeles, and London. These satellite campuses are popular destinations for students to complete internships, and you can see a small list of examples on your screen, but internships can take place all over the world, depending on what you're interested in doing. We have offices right on campus and a robust alumni network to help you plan for study abroad and internship opportunities, and not to mention to help you get a job or to get into grad school after your time at IC. So what about experiences outside of the classroom? So Ithaca College is a residential campus, which means that everything you might need is available to you. This means housing, dining, academic support, health and wellness services, safety, employment, and of course, entertainment too. So there's always things to do on campus. We offer over 200 different student clubs and organizations, ranging from academic honor societies to performing arts ensembles like our Gamer Symphony Orchestra or five acapella groups, to community service organizations like Guiding Eyes for the Blind where students are raising puppies to be guiding eyes dogs, and even clubs that are just for fun like the circus club or the car club. We're also an NCAA Division III institution with 27 varsity sports, but you can definitely participate in club or intramural teams as well. 
Of course, we have great food on campus, most of which is, lo is locally sourced and influenced by the downtown Ithaca eateries, since downtown Ithaca is known for its amazing quality and variety of food. In fact, the town of Ithaca has more restaurants per capita than New York City, believe it or not. Speaking of downtown Ithaca, our town slogan is Ithaca is gorges because we have over 150 different waterfalls and gorges within a 10 mile radius in addition to being nestled at the south end of Cuba Lake. One of the best features of downtown is the Commons, which is a pedestrian walking mall home to lots of local boutiques, restaurants, art galleries, performing arts spaces, and an independent cinema as well. What's really cool about Ithaca is that we share the town with Cornell University, so college students make up more than half the population of the town, making us frequently ranked the number one college town in the United States for a town of our size. So with all of that said, if it sounds like IC might be a good fit for you, you can apply via the Common App and you can see the application deadlines here. There's information on our website to help you go through the application process. So please check it out by going to ithaca.edu slash apply. And if you are interested in applying for fall 2021, we are actually still accepting applications. We've extended that regular decision deadline. So we'd be happy to consider you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or any of my colleagues directly, and we are more than happy to help. And if you have questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. So that's all the time I'm gonna take this evening and thanks for your time, everybody. Great, thank you so much, Jenny. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from Mississippi State University. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, again, thank you so much for joining us this evening. My name is Grant Naren. I'm joining you guys from Mississippi State University located in Starkville, Mississippi. I am the Assistant Director of Recruitment and I've been working for the university for over six years and I enjoy working with all of my students from the New, Jer New Jersey area. So thank you again for taking the time out of your evening to join us to learn about all of these great institutions. So just to give you some information about Mississippi State, as I said earlier, we're located in Starkville, Mississippi. That is where that lovely star is located. As you can see from all of the different pictures on your screen, we have a lot of opportunities for students to get involved, um, whether those are uh, on campus or off campus within the community. As I said earlier, we're located in Starkville. So it's about an 18 hour drive from New Jersey. Uh, so get your podcast and Spotify list ready, or you can take a quick flight. We do have three international airports that surround us uh, within about a two hour uh, time span with the regional airport that's about 10 minutes down the road that connects to Atlanta. So definitely encourage you guys to check us out. We are a small college town, uh, definitely a rural college town, but we are a top 25 college town. So lots of opportunities again. Uh, we are division one athletics uh, with NCAA. So there is always things for you to do and get involved in with, in addition to that, having access to over 450 student organizations. So I can guarantee that you'll find some place to plug in during your time with us. Just to give you some background knowledge, we were founded in 1878 as Mississippi A&M, standing for Agricultural and Mechanics. Obviously anything in agricultural, uh, dealing with uh, food and food research and what that looks like, and then also mechanics being engineering. Since then, we've acquired a lot of different majors and academic colleges, with, and now we offer over 180 different majors. So we're very well versed and very diverse in terms of what we can offer students. We do have about 23,000 students on our campus. We're the third uh, smallest institution in the Southeastern Conference, uh, so that we kind of get the best of both. You get the rah-rah that comes with the SEC and what that looks like. Um, and then, but you still get the small intimate learning environment. So average class size being about 40 to 50 students uh, as an entering freshman. So you again, get that small intimate learning environment at the same time, getting that national recognition. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we have over 180 different majors. So what I'm gonna do is uh, hit on a few of those. One of the unique things about Mississippi State is that we're a tier one top 100 research Carnegie institution. Those are a bunch of fancy words for talking about research opportunities uh, for undergraduate students. And so as you're coming into your uh, freshman year of Mississippi State, depending on what your um, career goals look like or your postgraduate goals look like, we have opportunities for you to get hands-on research starting that freshman year. First, I'm gonna talk about the College of Ag and Life Sciences. One of the things they're working with is the USDA to eradicate food hunger and enhance food quality and safety. Um, these students, there's a lot of different majors that are encompassed within this. College of Architecture, Art and Design. Uh, they actually work to advance meaningful designs for small towns. So they're revitalizing small towns throughout the state of Mississippi and nationally, which is really cool uh, to have some of that hands-on experience. 
arts and sciences, one of the things I always like to talk about is meteorology. One in three meteorologists in the nation actually have their certification from Mississippi State. We have a running joke that if they get the weather wrong, they obviously went elsewhere. It's a complete joke though. Um, uh, one of the things I also like to talk about is our College of Business. We do have an entrepreneurship center. We are actually ranked number six worldwide for entrepreneurship research. So I definitely encourage you to explore your options with us and they'll actually invest in you and your opportunities moving forward. Our College of Education, we do have some great opportunities for students uh, in terms of getting into the classroom as early as your sophomore year. And then our College of Engineering, we talk about co-ops and internships a lot. It is recommended, not required, but 93% of the students who do complete a um, co-op or internship have a job before they graduate, usually a year and a half before they graduate. So pretty awesome opportunities there. College of Forest Resources, we have a lot of things for uh, wildlife, sustainable bioproducts, uh, environmental conservation. So there's a lot of opportunities for students to help um, basically help our world move forward. So I definitely encourage you to explore that. We also have a College of Veterinary Medicine uh, where we encourage students where we have an early injury vet program uh, and we have a two and two veterinary medicine program. So two years of academics and two years of hands-on surgical experience, giving you that top tier experience right there. We also have an honors college. So if you're interested in some extra opportunities, we definitely encourage you to apply to that because uh, those opportunities are made available to you. We are about $35,000 total. We are a residential campus of so housing, meal plan, out of state tuition fees, Everything is right at about 35,000. Now it is my job to work with you uh, to help bring that cost as low as possible, of course. Um, and I will encourage you to come visit with us. As you can see on your screen, we have different ways to visit. We are hosting in-person visits, so we would be more than happy to do that. Obviously being a little bit further removed, we would be happy to host you virtually as well. Um, so any of those that are most accommodating for you, we definitely encourage you to explore. If you're interested in Mississippi State, we have a lot of scholarship opportunities you can still apply. We actually have practice rolling admissions. So you can apply today or next week and still qualify for just as much scholarship as you would have back if you had applied in the fall. Um, you can apply through any of those options you see on your screen. We are test optional. So definitely encourage you just to check out your chances there with us. One of the biggest scholarships I like to talk about is if you're the dependent of a veteran, we actually waive full out of state tuition for students. So um, definitely just encourage you to explore those options with us. As I said earlier, I work with all students from the state of New Jersey, um, and I definitely encourage you to reach out to us, um, and we'd be more than happy to help you explore all of your potential opportunities moving forward here at Mississippi State. Thanks, Grant. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from Drexel University. Hi everyone and good evening. I hope everyone is doing well tonight. Um, my name is Jalil Davis. I'm one of the assistant directors with Drexel University um, and the undergraduate admissions team. I've been with Drexel for about six years now, work both in financial aid as well as admissions. Um, and I'll get started on what we can offer from the university. I hope you guys can see this clearly. Uh, so Drexel University is one of the top undergraduate research institutions in the United States, and we specialize in what's called experiential learning. When I say experiential learning, what I mean is that we will have that hands-on component in every aspect of your education at the university, not just in what we will call our co-op program, which I'll touch on a little bit later, which is the opportunity for you to have a work experience, but also within your classes. You won't have that traditional sit in a class, have a lecture, and then write some papers. We are an urban campus located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, located in what's called our university city area. And there's about 50,000 undergraduate students in that area. There's a little under 15,000 undergraduate students housed at Drexel University as it currently stands. Um, so we are a larger institution. However, we do offer the opportunity for smaller class sizes due to our co-op program in which students are away for six months at a time while some students are still on campus. So you will still have that close knit feel with the faculty and staff and still be able to get those resources of a large institution, but with those smaller class sizes. And we offer admission to students all around the world, as well as in the United States. Now at Drexel, we offer over 80 different majors at the university. And when you do apply to the university, you can apply directly to one of these majors. Um, so let's say you know exactly what you wanna do. You wanna apply to a mechanical engineering, you wanna apply to nursing, you want to apply to biomedical engineering, you can apply and either get accepted or rejected directly to that major. 
Now, let's say you're unsure about an opportunity, but you have a general idea of what you want to do. You can apply undecided within our different schools or colleges. For instance, you can apply undecided business. You can apply undecided sciences, or you can apply undecided engineering. And what happens in this case is you're able to take different classes within those colleges inside of each of those majors within your first year. And then in your second year, you'll choose your major. But let's say you're like me, when I went to college, I had multiple interests, didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. You can apply to our first year exploratory studies program, and you can do just that. You can explore different majors from different opportunities. You can go into, let's say you want to do marketing, you maybe want to do um, some engineering, maybe you're thinking about one of the sciences, you can take classes from those different schools and colleges in your first year to kind of concentrate on what you want to do. And then again, in your second year, you'll actually pick a major. Drexel is unique in the instance that we tie in those real world experiences with our academics. So not only are you getting that hands-on component inside of the classroom, you're able to get some realistic experience outside of the classroom. And that will be in our co-op program. And what co-op is, is the opportunity for students to get an actual work experience where they're hired as an employee within a job that's within their field of study. Now, this isn't an internship where you'll shadow someone, where you're not actually hired, where you're typically not getting paid. You will have to go through the whole hiring process. You will be a hired employee at that company doing real work. And in most cases, you will be getting paid throughout that process. As we are located in Philadelphia, you're not restricted to that area. You are able to go outside of the zone. So you can do a co-op pretty much anywhere that you can find a co-op. And you'll apply through our database of over 1,700 companies. However, let's say you find a company that you want to work for that we don't already partner with. We'll do our best to make sure we can make that connection for you as well. Also, for students that are looking to do something international, you can do an international co-op as well. So we don't just have students working in DC or New York or California. We also have students doing their co-ops out in Africa and Europe as well. Now, how does that fit into your curriculum? We have two options that we offer at the university. We offer a four-year program and a five-year program. And pretty much every major that you apply to at the university, you can do one or the other. And it's your choice to pick. So with the four-year program, you will do your co-op for six months where you're not taking any classes within your third year. So your junior year, you'll be going on that co-op experience for half of the year. The other half of the year, you'll be taking classes. Now, let's say you wanna get more work experience. What you can do is choose the five-year option in which you have the same curriculum of classes. You still have 12 class terms and you don't take any more classes as opposed to doing the four-year program. However, you'll get that additional year's worth of work experience built directly into your curriculum as you see here. So not only will you be able to start co-op a little bit earlier, as opposed to the four-year program, you'll also do it three times. So you get an opportunity to leave college with a year and a half worth of work experience that will push you ahead and give you a nudge in the career field that you're trying to go into. Now, most students that are leaving the university are either going directly to graduate school or they are enrolled within their profession. 90% of the students that leave are working in their pro pro profession in something that is either directly related or closely related to the work that they've done in school. Now Drexel I mentioned was located in the city and we do have some fun stuff that you can do in and around the campus to make you feel like you have that college feel even though you're within the city. So we do have division one athletics for most sports. We have over 350 different clubs and organizations that you can get involved in. And we have many programs that you can um, get involved in and be very conscientious of going forward. Also being in a large city, you're able to touch outside of the neighborhood of your actual university. So you can get some of that history from the city of Philadelphia. Uh, maybe you can go grab a bite somewhere in uh, some of the many restaurants that are within the area. If you're a history buff, you can go down to Independence Mall. There's always something for you to do and get active in at the university. Now, if you are going to apply to the university, we offer admissions in early action, early decision, and regular decision, and the deadlines are as shown on here. However, if you are going to apply to the university moving forward, I do want to mention that for the next two years, we are going to offer the test optional option um, moving forward for 22 and 2023. 20, 
this is just my information here. I'll also put it in the chat as well. If you need to contact me, if you ever have any questions, please do reach out and we're always here to help you. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Just a reminder as we're halfway through our presentations that the Q&A widget is available if you have questions for any of our presenters. And up next, I'm pleased to introduce Earlham College. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining in on this presentation tonight. Um, I'm going to say that Earlham College is not located in New Jersey, but I'm Jindaya Herbert, and I'm the admissions counselor for New Jersey. So if you have any questions going forward, please feel free to contact me, and I'll have my information at the end, and I'll leave it in the chat as well. Um, so we're going to get started here. So. Just to give you a geographic location, Earlham College is located in Richmond, Indiana. We sit on 800 acres, so we have a student body, about 800 students. So I like to think of it as almost an acre for each student. It's great for spreading out. Um, we are more so in the historic district of um, downtown Richmond. So it's a five minute walk downtown. Um, definitely more of a small town vibe. We have about 36,000 residents. But we're strategically located. We're between um, Dayton, Ohio, which is about 45 minutes away. It's where a lot of our international students and students from around the country fly into. Um, Indianapolis is the capital, and we have students um, that'll go there as well. And then Cincinnati is about an hour and a half drive. Um, so Cincinnati and Indianapolis are pretty equidistant. Uh, we are a small liberal arts college, so you'll be taking classes in our four divisions. That's natural sciences, social sciences, humanities, and visual and performing arts. We are known for our faculty and staff. They are dedicated to making sure that our students are able to forge their own distinct paths at Earlham, whatever that may be. We are a Quaker college. Um, so that being said, we are founded by the Quakers, but we do not have any religious requirements on campus. We do welcome all faiths and non-faiths. We do traditionally have a history of bringing Earlham, um, the world to Earlham, but also sending out our faculty and staff and students through a variety of programs. So I'll talk a little bit about our off-campus opportunities. And I do want to say that we don't value rigor at Earlham. Um, for the sake of trying to differentiate between the weak and the strong, we really expect our students to do more than they expect of themselves and also to challenge their peers as well. At Earlham, you'll find that classes are more so discussion based. We really don't believe in competition. It's more about collaboration, hands on experience and experiential learning. And so at Earlham, we offer over 40 different majors and minors. Um, I will say the top programs on campus tend to be that pre-medical pathway or in terms of health sciences or public health. So think majoring in biology, biochemistry or chemistry or neuroscience, as well as our psychology program, um, computer science and global management, which is more so our business major, but it's a little bit more globally focused. Um, not listed on the screen are applied minors as well. Um, so think of applied minors as the opportunity to um, do an internship or a volunteer experience embedded within the program. And then you'll present your work um, either in the form of a paper or presentation at the end. But we really want to make sure you have experiential learning and internship opportunities. So I know I said about 800 students, that definitely lends to smaller class sizes. On average, it'll be about 13 students. A little unique on campus, um, Quakers don't really believe in social hierarchy or titles, so everyone's on a first name basis. Um, you'll be on a first name basis with your professors. It really helps with academic advising. They're going to be your mentors, but they're also going to be cheering you on at athletic games, or they're going to be cheering for you. Um, I guess you don't really cheer in theater until the end, um, but clapping for you at the end of your performances and they really want to be involved in terms of joining them on research publications or they are going to help you in terms of traveling with them abroad when they do their semester abroad programs. And so at Earlham, a little unique is that we do offer what is called EPIC funding. EPIC stands for Earlham Program for an Integrated Curriculum. All that means is we want your full year, four years experience to be not just based on what you're learning inside the classroom, but we wanna make sure that you have the opportunity to explore your field in the real world. So we have a 
award of funding of $5,000 for every single one of our students to either go on an internship or decide to go on a research trip experience with their professors abroad. Um, it's not a requirement, so you do not have to utilize that funding if you do not want to, but we want to make sure that all of our students have the opportunity to decide this is the major that I'm interested in. Let me explore what that looks like in the real world in terms of a career. And if it's not something you actually want to do, then you have time to change your mind. We do not have our students declare their major until the end of their sophomore year, so it gives you time to explore what you're interested in, and you can utilize your EPIC funding anytime after your first year up to graduation. And these are just a few of our EPIC research trips. Those are typically during the summer. And then we also have our study abroad experiences. About 65% of our students will end up studying abroad at some point during their four years. Um, the unique thing about Earlham is that your financial aid package actually travels with you. Um, so you're studying for the same price if you stayed here at Earlham, but you're actually in London or New Zealand. Um, the only additional costs are if you need a visa, passport, or a flight to where you're going. We offer over 60 active clubs and organizations on campus. Um, think political clubs, special interest clubs, recreational sports, um, club sports. Esports is very popular on campus, but we also have a juggling club or acapella groups. Um, so a variety of things to choose from. The Office of Student Life can always set up a club if you find that we don't have that club on campus. We are a division three school. So we have about 17 different men's and women's intercollegiate athletic teams. Um, think tennis, um, golf, uh, not swimming, but a variety of opportunities to choose from. And a third of our student body are student athletes, and about half of our students are involved in some type of sport on campus. We do have eight residence halls on campus, as well as themed and friendship houses. So think themes like um, we have an African African American Cultural Center house, Jewish Student Union has a house, we have friends houses based on our Quaker faith, um, and we have LGBT house, um, environmental house, mindfulness house if you're interested in meditation and wellness, and then we also have apartment as well. In terms of financial aid, we offer merit scholarships, and then the need-based aid is based on you submitting the FAFSA. All of our applicants do receive a merit scholarship. It's based on the application, nothing extra you have to do. In terms of after graduation, 92% of our students for the class of 2019 within the first six months of graduating went on to either in their career field or continued their education in a master's program or decided that they wanted to join Peace Corps or service prep. And then I'll just say that we are still taking admissions currently. Um, so we are rolling admissions and we take common application as well as the Earlham College application. If you have any further questions, feel free to let me know and thank you for joining today. Great. Thank you so much. Our next presentation tonight comes to us from East Stroudsburg University. Can everybody hear me um, and see the PowerPoint? Yes, we can uh, awesome. hear you. So thank you so much for joining my session. My name is Hamdi. I'm one of the assistant directors, uh, directors here at East Strasburg University. East Strasburg University is a mid-sized state college. We are located in the Poconos in Pennsylvania, or the borders of New Jersey. We're only 59 minutes away from New York City, an hour and 45 minutes away from Philadelphia. Uh, it's a great location. A lot of uh, people come from all over the world and uh, across the nation for the area. It's an attraction area for the Delaware River Gap. Um, there are so many resorts around campus. And ESU is in between two towns, East Strasburg and Strasburg. Uh, so everything uh, within walking distance. Um, little mid sites, uh, we are a mid sized state college. We offer what a large campus offers when it comes to sports, activities, and resources. But when it comes to academia, we offer what a small college offers, which is a prime interpersonal experience inside the classroom that will help you grow professionally and individually. Uh, East Strasburg University has a diverse uh, uh, student body. We are the most diverse state college in the state of. Pennsylvania as a state school, and we really cherish our diversity and our student ratio is 21 students per classroom, which is really neat. 
We offer 58 majors. Most of these majors are test optional, no SCRSAT required for the majority of our majors. And uh, uh, if you know what major you want to be, that's awesome. But if you don't, we have a great uh, major that's called exploratory studies, which is a great landing place for each and every single student who is not quite sure what they really want to do with their college career. They spend the first two years learning about different majors and they will have multiple advisors from different areas that can help them navigate through college and find the major that they really uh, are passionate about and they see themselves doing uh, after graduation, which is really neat, uh, and still graduate exactly in four years. So it's a, a wonderful program for those who are not quite sure what they really want to do. Uh, uh, our faculty and staff are very well rounded and they're very humble, very uh, kind, and they're most importantly connected with the field work they're teaching, the subject matter they're teaching. So they can help students with research opportunities, work on, on campus and off campus, and uh, uh, internship opportunities. Those are some of the resources available that students can utilize for absolutely free and you can uh, gain extra certificates in in, the, in some of these resources in addition to their degree work. Uh, we have a Bloomberg Finance Lab on campus that helps the students kind of uh, navigate stock market life. Uh, it's a wonderful lab and that's an additional certificate that you can gain in addition to your degree. We have Entrepreneurial Leadership uh, Center. If you have an, uh, a business idea and uh, uh, they can help you write a business plan and start a business on until you can uh, stand on your feet. And they can even host your business and give you a place um, uh, to start your business. We have a 3D printer on campus. Uh, our um, uh, students here um, collaborating with other businesses in town to help them uh, with their uh, advertising uh, and all of that. So, so we have so many uh, programs on campus. We also have a museum on campus of real animals that you wouldn't be able to touch or see when they're alive. And that's another opportunity that can help students with research and also work on campus. Our study abroad program is phenomenal. We have 200 countries part of the study abroad program and students can travel for a semester or a year long or, or as little as one week or two weeks. I know the marine science, they have a jellyfish lab in Costa Rica and they take students on the summer for, uh, for the summer break or in the winter for the winter break. But you can travel for as long as one year or semester. And when you come back, you come back with an amazing international experience, but most importantly credits that will go toward your major. So you're not wasting time, not either a resource, which is amazing, and you graduate exactly in time. Uh, East Strasburg University offers the, the three styles of housing. We have the traditional, which is my favorite, the suite and the apartment style. They all feel and look luxurious. They are fancy. You can even control the laundry room from your phone. So uh, that's how fancy it is. But every single housing uh, and residence, uh, residential uh, hall is fully equipped with everything you would need, a computer lab, uh, internet, a uh, fast internet, uh, laundry room, absolutely free, large gathering areas, large kitchen areas if you decide to cook for yourself. And and invite your friends uh, from uh, class, which is really neat. Um, and uh, we are a residential campus, uh, but East Strasburg University offers that lot of flexibility and allows students to move off campus and live off campus if they want to by sophomore year. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, Housing on campus is guaranteed throughout the four years, but if a student decides to live off campus, they have that lot of flexibility at East Strasburg University. Academy at East Strasburg University is great and most importantly affordable, but Academy alone is not the only thing that will help you grow professionally and individually. We offer over 110 clubs and organization on campus that will help you with your leadership skills, learn how to stand up and speak up for yourself, uh, learn how to social and become uh, and sell yourself and make yourself marketable. Uh, one of the the clubs that I, I will mention is called the Student Senate, uh, and they have a budget of a million and a half each and every single year. Uh, students get together and they allocate how how they spend that money and how uh, how can they advocate for other clubs and organization. If you're one of these students around that table and allocating that money, you will gain tremendous amount of leadership skills, tremendous amount of social skills, um, and those are the skills learned outside the classroom that will help you tremendously once you graduate and once you are in the work. In, uh, in the real world, uh, uh, working with people who are different than you uh, and all of that. So we have over 110 clubs and organization, and there is a plus sign. That means if there is a club that's not available that you're interested in, you can start it. And that's another leadership opportunity for you on campus. We have sororities and fraternities. Food makes me happy and I love food. So we have six dining areas, all you can eat open buffet style, made to order options. Um, so uh, we have the largest salad bar in the state system. 
uh, in Pennsylvania. So we really brag about our own food and we have Starbucks on campus actually too. And we have our Barnes and Nobles is our bookstore. Um, they are really great. And we have top notch gears in the bookstore. Um, police uh, is available on campus to make sure that each and every single student is safe. Those are some of the resources available. We have tutoring center, writing studio. They do not do your homework, but they make sure that you ace your homework. Um, and we have the career services that work with the students as early as freshman year with their resume cover letter to connect them with other employers around the area for internship opportunities and full-time jobs. Uh, they're really great resources. And we have Stony Acre. It's a recreational area, 110 acres. Cabins, uh, there's cabins there, lakes, uh, road courses. And once you're, uh, you're enrolled at ESU, you own a piece of it. So you can always have access to it for absolutely free a lifetime. And that's uh, uh, a great resource. And that's just being part of the Warrior family. You own a piece of this for a lifetime and you can always utilize it. We have OECIS and office that ensures that each and every single student has the same equal opportunities for success. And we are, uh, as I mentioned, residential campus, but if you decided to live off campus, uh, we have the commuter services that make sure uh, you're not excluded from being, uh, uh, from all the events that's happening on campus. We have a mentorship program. So when you come to ESU, you're not gonna get lost. Uh, you have somebody who is from an upper class that will help you navigate through college. Um, uh, East Strasburg University is a D2. We just added a wrestling team for women. Each, uh, we have a huge uh, students from New Jersey population. Any student with a 3.0 or higher, they automatically qualify for the first award scholarship, which is 8,500, automatically renewable for four years. We're the only school in the state of Pennsylvania that promises you your tuition will be frozen to one rate. Whatever you pay the first semester is going to be the same exact rate for the last and eighth semester. Uh, wonderful academy, uh, affordability. I'm very close to New Jersey. Uh, I'll leave my contact information in the chat room for everybody to contact me. And I'll also add, we're rolling admissions and I'll give you the fee waiver codes who can apply at no extra cost to you. Thank you so much. Great, thank you so much. And our final presentation this evening before we transition to Q&A comes to us from Eastern Kentucky University. All right, I hope everybody's doing well today. I hope everybody can see this uh, PowerPoint. We'll go ahead and get started. Give me one second. All righty. So I'm Quentin Ferris from Eastern Kentucky University. I'm gonna go over briefly just a little bit about EKU. Even though our name is Eastern Kentucky University, we're actually located in the Bluegrass region in the Appalachian foothills and refer to the uh, known as Campus Beautiful. Our main campus is in Richmond, Kentucky, which is actually Central Kentucky. Um, you know, like I said, our name's Eastern Kentucky, but we're actually in the central part of the state, about 30 minutes south of Lexington, um, probably about a little over an hour from Louisville, a little over an hour to Cincinnati, um, probably a little over an hour to Knoxville, and a couple hours away from Nashville to kind of give you an idea. Uh, we're about a mid-sized university with nearly 15,000 students. We got a brand new state-of-the-art science building, new residence halls and dining halls, and then also we're known as the School of Opportunity, where nearly 30% of our students are the first in their family to attend college. We have over 100 career-focused programs. Um, some of the big ones you'll hear about EKU will be our Homeland Security, criminal justice, aviation, nursing, forensic science, PJ golf management, American Sign Language, interpreter education. And then also we do have an honors program. Our student to faculty ratio is 15 to one. With that being said, you know, our class sizes are pretty small. We're probably on average around 18 in a class. More than 75% of our graduates are employed in Kentucky one year after graduation, which is the highest percentage among all public institutions in the state of Kentucky. We have with student life, we have over 200 uh, student organizations available to join from Greek life to community service, study abroad, alternative spring break, Colonel's Cup Board, which assists the students experiencing food insecurity. We're in NCAA Division One. We actually just left the Ohio Valley Conference this year. So we're actually going to be in the, participating in the Atlantic Sun and students can participate, uh, attend games for free. We got a brand new recreation center. Um, that's over 130,000 square feet. Um, it also has like a rock a climbing wall, um, racquetball courts, basketball courts, and we also have intramurals, group and personal fitness, health promotion, sports clubs, and adventure trips as well. Considering we're out of state, um, you know, we do have many housing options. 
um, available to our students. Um, we have living learning communities, which just means simply, let's say if you're a health science major or you're in the College of Health Science, we have a living learning community for students who are in those particular programs. Um, then we also offer free Wi-Fi cable. Parking is available on campus as well. And we do have a, a Big E Transit, which is a bus that can actually um, take you from one area of campus to another. And also that has certain routes on certain days that can take you to um, grocery store, shopping center, you name it. So the cost of out-of-state tuition is 10,300, which is awesome. Um, which is very comparable to our in-state tuition, as you see right there. Um, we're one of the more affordable institutions here in the state of Kentucky, and we want to try to appeal to our out-of-state students as well. Now, financial aid, you know, of course, big thing being the FAFSA. Um, like I said, we do offer merit scholarships, diversity scholarships, departmental, trailblazer scholarships, alumni scholarships, foundation. Um, and like I said, we're still accepting and mailing out, you know, financial aid packages. So definitely get that FAFSA in to us. And any student who attends EKU in the fall through our Booksmart program will have their textbooks and materials paid for. So that's a cost that students do not have to worry about this fall, the EKU. So that is our Booksmart program. And we're still accepting applications. Um, so basically you can apply today. Um, our standard admissions of 2.5 or higher. Um, our success our success first is 2.0, uh, between 2.0 and 2.49. So apply today and it is free to apply to EKU. And like I said, our students must have a 2.0 to, to um, apply to EKU. Um, and on top of that, you know, our test scores, while not required for, required for admissions purposes, we encourage you to submit them. Um, just for proper course placement, which just means simply that we are test optional. So if you don't have those test scores or you don't feel comfortable submitting them, you can still apply to EKU and still be admitted based off of just your GPA. And here's my information and contact. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any point. We'll be happy to help you out at EKU and we are doing in-person and virtual um, campus visits as well. So feel free to take full advantage of that. And uh, thank you all for stopping by. Great, thank you so much. We have just uh, two minutes remaining in the session. Um, so we'll bring all of the presenters back um, and hopefully be able to answer one quick question um, if everyone can kind of go, go rapid fire. Um, and that will be when a student does kind of start to look at your institution, what is one big event or tradition that they should particularly be looking forward to? And we can go in the, the same order as the initial presentation. So Jenny, if you wanna lead us off. Sure, thank you. Um, I guess I have to say it's the Cortica Jug, which is um, a rivalry football game that's been going on since the 1950s between a state school about 45 minutes away. It is known as the biggest game um, in the biggest little football game in the nation. Um, it's the only Division Three sporting event that you can bet on in Las Vegas if you're old enough or that has been shown on ESPN. Um, so it is a it is a big deal. and That's definitely the game you want to participate in and, and attend when you come to Ithaca College. At Mississippi State, ours is the lovely cowbell. Uh, it helps us to uh, basically bring us good luck in football, but also pester the mess out of our opponents. And it's bad luck for fre incoming freshmen to buy their own. So be looking forward to being gifted that. At Drexel, I would say it's our, um, our customary finals statue that we have in a great court. Everyone comes through to rub their toe um, and legend has it, they rub the toe so much it's the shiniest piece of hardware inside the whole great court. <laughs> I would say at Earlham, it's definitely homecoming. We've been around since 1847. Um, so you'll have alums from way, way back in like the 90s come and visit. Um, so you just get to connect with alums that you probably never would have if you didn't come to homecoming. And we don't have a football team, um, but we all gather for the soccer game. So support the soccer team. I would encourage students to take advantage and visit the campus uh, before um, applying. Um, college will be your home for four years and you need to make sure it's the right home for you. Um, and our biggest events for those who are not a students is open houses. Uh, during the open house, we have uh, huge events. Um, um, the, uh, we have the teams, they come, they participate in, the, uh, in these events, uh, all professors, faculty, even the president 
is involved in the event. So I would encourage you to sign up for one of the open houses, but we're available for in-person visits uh, these days now too. At EKU, our big tradition is freshmen. Um, we have a stat we have a uh, statue of Daniel Boone on campus. So incoming freshmen, they'll rub his toe, kind of like for good luck for the next four years. And then once you graduate, then you rub his toe again. That's kind of like so for more, you know, I guess good luck after you graduate. Great. Thank you to all of you for sharing your institutions with us and to all of our viewers as well for tuning in. At the conclusion of this webinar, there will be a brief four question survey and we would appreciate any feedback that you could provide. And also just a reminder that there are more presentations happening this evening, all of which will be recorded and at strivescan.com backslash New Jersey, you can register for sessions later tonight or view the recordings of future ones. Thanks again and have a great night.